So we're here in Hall 7. Uh, I've got Keith here with me at the Global Distribution Stand. Keith's going to give us a little tour of their stand. They, uh, they have so much kit on here, it's, uh, it's worth having a little look around. Uh, what have we got, Nikki? So, uh, starting off here, we have uh, uh, Broadcast Digital Signage. It's a uh, network-wide uh, solution, very easy to be controlled by touch screens, can link in with playout servers. Uh, users of it would be um, the BBC and Sky. Um, uh, applications are pretty much endless. They're showing the new IDS uh, Wi-Fi um, uh, transmitters, so you don't. All you need is power for a screen, and off goes your data. Yep. Uh, coming around here, we have the uh, cache desktop um, archiving appliances. Yep. Very simple GUI management. Connects onto your uh, gigabit Ethernet network, can attach eSATA and USB 3 devices for local uh, archiving. And essentially, our big message for the show is you used to have tape at the front end, now have data tape at the back end. The neat thing about uh, LTO data tape is the uh, archive life is 30 years. So, um, where a hard drive is going to fail at some stage, it yep. will break, it's mechanical. Data tape guaranteed 30 years. So, neat systems. This is the uh, Prime Cache, and uh, here is the uh, Pro Cache. Pro Cache can be uh, rack mounted, and we'll see one of those in a little bit. Coming over here, we have um, a new product uh, by a company called M Logic. This is their M Back. Uh, this is a USB 2 that can just connect to uh, an iMac. It's a uh, zero footprint uh, device, first one of its type. And um, we'll also have. Uh, other versions, uh, Firewire 800 and Thunderbolt, and it'll be a RAID. The other neat thing is this will be a Thunderbolt to PCIe expander. So you could put a deck link card in here, and you could be editing on your uh, uh, iMac. And um, there's some other very neat things coming for that shortly as well. Over here we have uh, Glyph Production Technologies. Uh, Glyph have been around since 1993. Um, came from the audio market, uh, now very big in video and creative media. And they have uh, small single disc portable drives, Firewire 800, eSATA, USB, very light indeed, very robust. And uh, there's the T drive, eSATA, and uh, Firewire 800, etc. And then the RAID desktops, the triplicators, and the uh, four bay um, quad interface RAID 5 device. So moving down, this is actually the M-Back on a uh, static stand. Um, M-Logic also have the M-Dock, so essentially, instead of crawling under the editing table to get all your cables, you plug all your cables in here, you can charge your iPad, and you connect it. It has a 500 gig or a 1 terabyte drive, and essentially starts time machining. So, as one with an iPhone uh, iPad interface. So this is neat, it's cunning. Um, this is the M-Link. So this is Thunderbolt to PCIe. So this is the one for the half-length card. There'll be a longer version that'll take maybe a red card or an Arja card. And it simply allows people, again, with an iMac or a uh, MacBook, to um, uh, have their video card or their fiber card or their SAS card, et cetera, et cetera, into the machine. Um, scientific purposes as well uh, for data cards. Promise Thunderbolt. And then on the rack here, we have the cache rack mount solution. So this is all archives. So this is a big Spectrologic 120 slot, uh, Infinity Archive server, the cache rack mounted. New for the show is the uh, Active SAN here, which is a Stornex file system. And it's very simple because it's just a few clicks and you've configured your Stornex uh, SAN instead of having a super geek come in and spend a day programming. We're going this way. So at the bottom here, we also have the V-Mirror, which is a new product for IBC, and uh, it mirrors your SAN. So half your SAN can go offline, you can take it off for maintenance, and your data rate's still there, or your data's there. So for people who need 100% data availability, the V-Mirror is the product to get. So on this screen here, we see um, uh, a product by Viacom again, which is bandwidth control and essentially allows you to restrict uh, bandwidth use on a fiber channel SAN. 
So instead of some administrator sucking all the bandwidth out of a RAID doing a copy, you can say that that person can only do 100 megasecond rather than 2 gigasecond, therefore allowing people ingesting and editing to have maximum performance within their SAN. And it's a complete SAN uh, network-wide uh, deployment system. And uh, just on here, we see the very simple GUI for configuring Active SAN and Active RAID. As you can see here, simple click next, you've got a few options, simple click next, and then configure, and your Stornex file system is ready to go. So pretty much that's what we're showing here at IBC 2011. So that's what I call a, uh, a proper stand whirlwind tour. Um, come and have a look at their stand if you're here at IBC. If not, uh, have a look at their website, which is globaldistribution.com. Keith, thank you very much. Uh, that's it from Global Distribution. Uh, keep track of everything we're doing. I say it at the end of every single video. If you don't know it by now, you'll never know it. It's broadcastshow.com.